from Dr. Fiaco. If we can walk through these, obviously, uh, number one being being overweight or obese. So that's really the biggest driver of elevated triglycerides and, in fact, cardiovascular risk in our society these days. Things change over time. We could argue in the 1950s, maybe smoking was more prevalent, but that's um, uh, decreased in our society compared to those times. So as I mentioned, triglycerides are basically food. It's, it's energy. Mm -hmm. So an overabundance of energy leads the body to produce a higher level of particles filled with triglyceride, which again leads to the cascade events. Right. So most of, and, and interestingly, there are people that we term metabolically obese, and some of you may be this or see this, which are people who have a metabolism of someone very overweight, but for some reason they don't actually, they don't actually deposit the energy in their belly fat, so they don't gain weight. So there could be relatively thin people who have this metabolic abnormality. Really? Yeah, but most of the time it's seen with being overweight. Right. So if you think of triglycerides, sugar and fats packaged together to be delivered to our cells mm -hmm. for energy, too much energy raises triglycerides. So if one's able to lose weight and, and eliminate or decrease the prevalency of obesity, we should have a decrease in triglycerides. And I do want to make a, a, a follow-up point that I mentioned. The triglyceride themselves is not necessarily the problem. It's what causes your triglycerides to go up becomes the problem. Right. And what causes the triglycerides to come down decreases the problem. So the triglyceride going up and down are markers of the risk of inflammation right. and plaque. So that's why we look at them and use them and try to lower them. But going back to the original point, the most prevalent reason for elevated triglycerides in our society now is being overweight or an abundance of energy. And compound that with physical inactivity. Correct. So, so decreasing activity compounds the absorption of energy and decreasing utilization of energy. When people are physically active, it does more than burn calories, it changes the metabolism. It enhances the delivery of these particles delivering triglycerides to the cells where it can be burned. Less physical activity, you have more of these particles floating around where they can get into the arteries. Mm -hmm. So remember, it's where they're going that determines your risk. So being inactive further enhances the inflammatory process, the risk of elevating triglycerides, being physically active can burn your triglycerides as well as enhance your body's ability to, to utilize triglycerides.